Now joining us now is former Queensland Premier Campbell Newman. Campbell, great to have you on Outsiders again. As always, great to have you here. Um, you know, the, I think it's a masterstroke what Peter Dutton has done with uh, naming the seven sites, the whole policy on nuclear energy. I think the Australians are going to go, thank goodness, finally, uh, the adults are back uh, talking about sensible policies to bring us energy cheaply and affordably and, more importantly, reliably. But, but, and it's a big but, <laughs> the uh, Liberal Party at a state level seems to be doing its usual trick. You've got Chris Afouli up there in um, uh, Queensland who backed the treaty and voice and uh, now is saying, uh, oh, not sure about, you know, I'm not going down the nuclear path. What is going on? Campbell, what's in that beautiful Brisbane water behind you that you're all <laughs> drinking that sends these, <laughs> these Liberals so pathetically left-wing every time? <laughs> well, look, uh, clearly uh, Chris Foley and the political arm of the state LNP are completely out of step with, uh, firstly, Queenslanders, but more worryingly, perhaps for them, if they care, um, their own party membership. And that's mm. why people are deserting uh, the LNP and joining the Libertarian Party, and I'll declare that up front. I'm a member of the Libertarian Party these days. Uh, and, you know, in recent weeks I've had meetings with senior office bearers of the LNP who are defecting to us down there on the Gold Coast in Christopher Foley's backyard. But, look, the problem with what Christopher Foley's done this week should be separated into two bits. Firstly, from a public policy point of view and then the political point of view. So on the public policy point of view... He's going to an election saying that he supports emissions targets, like mm. the Labor Party, uh, but he's saying, and, and obviously implicitly he's against the coal-fired power stations that we have today. They need to be phased out. So he obviously supports renewables, but he therefore needs to support storage. So where's the storage? Because the other thing that's happened is he's said that he's against the very large um, and, frankly, I think quite risky uh, Labor Party-pumped hydro uh, projects, but he's not offering an alternative. So, in summary, Chris Foley doesn't have a renewable uh, electricity supply policy that will provide reliable baseload power for Queenslanders, and then he's repudiated Peter Dutton uh, and the Feds. So, here we have an important election after nine years of an appalling Labor government, but the LNP don't actually have an electricity supply policy consistent with going to zero emissions, if you believe that mumbo-jumbo. If we then go to the political side of it, how, how, well, firstly, it's an act of treachery. I mean, I've mm. talked to a number of federal LNP politicians in the last few days. They're pulling their hair out. They're pulling our hair out at the lack of courage. They're pulling their hair out at the way that this guy has done this. And, look, all he had to do, guys, this is what all he had to do. All he had to do is say, well... You know, I'm concerned about this. There are issues that haven't been answered. But you know what? If Peter Dutton puts this up at a federal election and gets elected, well, I'll have to support that mandate. Mm, exactly. Why couldn't the LNP do that? And you know what? That's what the rank and file of the LNP would support. You know, actually, frankly, it's, it's, it's bigger than that. I think, you know, you would find that a convention of the LNP uh, membership there'd be about 75% support for what Dutton's doing, if not even stronger. And I'm I, trying to be I, conservative. I, 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 I'd so agree. It's, been, it's been an extraordinary week. It's been an extraordinary week. But this guy, as you were pointing out before, Roman, he gets it wrong on so many things. Mm. He voted for treaty and truth-telling. He, he, he supported the voice or wouldn't take a position for a long, long time when it was clear exactly where this state would go. He supported emissions targets. Only two weeks ago, he stood up before the Labor Party had handed down their state budget, and he said, I will support it. Now, what does that mean? That means you actually support the funding priorities, but importantly, the policy and political priorities of your opponents. And say so Scott Prosser, who's, who's often on Sky, has made it very, very clear he's completely uh, abrogated his responsibility to lead an effective opposition in Queensland.